Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to cover all necessary steps to commission a servo drive from Siemens Aromation, utilizing the software Synology Starter version 5.4. The device could be a pre-existing device with previously configured parameters and operational settings, or even a newly acquired device, which would be on factory settings. To find the device in a ProfNet network, whether your computer is in the same subnet or not, the ProNet software is a very useful tool. After finding the unit, we will utilize TIA portal version 16 to set it to factory settings and configure its network parameters from scratch in ProNet. Let's refresh the software to scan for the device online. Now, we already find the device and it's on the subnet 192.168.0. So let's go into the network and sharing center and configure our network adapter to this same subnet. Once that's done, let's go into GIA portal, online access, let's find our network adapter and update accessible device. And the drive unit device, let's open up the branch and go into online and diagnostics. Here we have functions. Reset to factory settings. Let's reset it. Yes to reset. And yes to keep retaining there. Let's refresh again Pronator software to find the device with no IP address configuration. Let's set the IP address. Click yes to confirm. And now the unit has a IP configuration of our choice and it's ready to be configured in start the software. In start the software, let's create a new project. Go project, new wi wizard, find the device online. Let's put a convenient project name. It's important to set the correct PGP interface, which is the communication drive you realize to find the drive unit. Since we're done in Promnata, we are already in the same subnet network and we have to select our network adapter as our communication drive. Click next. And now we find the device. Next again and complete. This procedure will import the existing hardware configuration. Let's configure the drive unit. Configure drive unit. Choose an identity name for the drive. For the control mode, we're going to use the basic positioner function model and the speed controller with encoder control mode. Find the correct power unit for your device. Make sure the correct filters are selected. Let's configure the motor type. The software has many kinds of motor. If you wish to configure an induction motor, this is what it would be like. You need all these parameters for this application we're utilizing a servo motor with drive click interface. All the motor parameters are sent from the drive click interface, so we don't have to add any. Configure a holding brake if existed. Our servo motor already has an encoder attached to it, but if it's necessary, it's possible to add an additional encoder or even if in the case of regular induction motor, this is the procedure. Find the encoder type and characteristics. Let's uncheck that and next. We need to choose the correct encoder for the control application since our control mode needs an encoder. Let's use the default encoder data for now. For the communication interface with the PLC, we need to set a proof drive telegram. A free telegram means we can use any number of words to input and output data. 
A four to four Telegram can afford a basic position application. Now that the server motor is created, let's go online with the device. Let's download to device or configuration. After the download, the software copies the RAM to ROM information. That means that the device maintains the configuration on a fresh start. An alarm is active just to let us know that no cyclic connection to Profnet network is being received from the controller. Let's go into the Drive Navigator. The Drive Navigator is very useful when commissioning and monitoring the device. We have the main block diagram of the device and its control structure. In this windows, we can monitor every parameter since set point to motor control. This way, we can really know what's going on under the drive. Let's go into commissioning and allow the motor to run. Here, we will see the control panel. Let's assume the control priority. That means we we'll control the drive. At first, let's utilize the end set point specification. Let's enable the device. We'll start with a 10 RPM test. We can see the motor is running. Now, 1000 RPM. Bear in mind, this is a 6000 RPM motor. Here, we can monitor the specified and actual speed and torque. Let's go a bit slower. And slower. If we would like to revert the motor rotating direction, simply put a negative set point specification. A little bit slower. And let's stop. Turn off. And now we'll go into basic positioner. Let's enable the basic positioner. We'll activate the positioning mode. Here we'll set the velocity and the distance to be traveled. Let's configure a positioning type to be relative to all current position and start the position. A complete turn has been made. Let's go over 10 turns now. A little bit faster. A little bit slower. And faster. And further, that would be 100 turns. That's it for this video. Hope you like it and hope to see you in the next video.